Well, we're dealing with two back to back mass shootings in America, 1500 miles apart. And tonight, two more communities trying to understand why. And President Trump today promising action. We cannot allow ourselves to feel powerless. We can and will stop this evil contagion. Latest now in El Paso, Texas, two more victims died at the hospital today, bringing the total number of people killed there to 22. That's where investigators say Patrick Crucius opened fire inside of a crowded Walmart Saturday morning, and they say he targeted the Mexican community. He is now charged with capital murder. Federal investigators say more charges will be coming, including domestic terrorism and hate crimes. 13 hours later in Dayton, Ohio, investigators say Connor Betts opened fire in the downtown district, killing nine people, including his own sister. Officers shot and killed Betts within a minute of the first shots being fired. They now are looking for a motive in that case. Betts high school classmates say he was suspended years ago for compiling a hit list and a rape list. And now again, calls from around the country to strengthen gun laws. And President Trump did not mention that specifically this morning, but he did call on more states to pass what are known as red flag laws. Anchor Genevieve Curtis spoke with one mother also pushing for those laws. And Genevieve joins us live in the studio tonight. Genevieve. Claudia Sandoval's twin daughter survived the Sandy Hook massacre in 2012. She knows the pain families in El Paso and Dayton are going through. My heart goes out to them. Uh, I know the initial pain and heartache that they've gone through, um, the post-traumatic stress and the ripple effect. In times like these, Claudia Sandoval says she finds hope in the work being done to end gun violence. Her twin daughters were nine years old in Newtown, Connecticut, when a gunman killed 28 people. One of her daughters hid in the gym, the other in the music room. They now live in Charlotte, and she is an active member of Moms Demand Action, an organization working to make communities safer by strengthening gun reform. Some of the key measures they're advocating for are red flag laws. Now, President Trump highlighted these laws today in his address to the nation. Red flag laws allow law enforcement, family members, and other concerned parties to petition a judge to confiscate guns from people who may cause harm to themselves or others. We also know that red flag laws work. They've passed in other states and they've been showing to help others um, avoid the gun violence. And right now there are two of these types of bills in the North Carolina General Assembly, but they are currently in committee. Moms Demand Action is encouraging people to contact their local representatives to make sure the bills make it to the floor for discussion. Erica. All right, Genevieve, thank you. It's been just in the past 90 minutes that we heard from Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles. She released a statement about the mass shooting, saying in part, violence in places like our own UNC Charlotte and beyond must stop as innocent people are being senselessly attacked. We need action and common sense gun reform now.